You're watching Telecom TV at the SCWS event in London. And I'm joined now by Mike McFarland, who is Senior Director of Small Sales Marketing and Product Management at Comscope. Mike, thanks for joining us on Telecom TV. You were speaking at the conference earlier on cell virtualization with CRAN small cells. But what exactly is the CRAN? So CRAN traditionally in the macro was a centralized uh, baseband unit that did all the baseband processing and scheduling, uh, usually um, servicing different remote radio heads acting as different sectors. Uh, with CRAN small cells, which is sort of a really a new category of product that um, we were the first ones to innovate in, uh, what we've done is something similar where we have a, a baseband controller uh, for our one cell solution. And this baseband controller also has a centralized scheduler, and that allows us to put a lot of intelligence into how we manage uh, the different radio points. And that way we can eliminate interference between the radio points. Um, we can um, really improve the performance for the users. There's no handovers. And uh, from a macro interference uh, mitigation standpoint, it's, it's much better as well. And so all of those things not only factor into uh, better user experience, but also a much simpler um, architecture to deploy than traditional small cells. So how is NFV and virtualization affecting the radio access network? Network function virtualization is you know, a hot topic, and uh, there's certainly value in NFV in that you uh, take that, that centralized BBU or baseband unit and you virtualize that on off-the-shelf hardware. And, and, um, and so, you know, Comscope, uh, which acquired Airvana, the small cell uh, solutions that they now have, uh, is looking at that uh, NFE capability as well. But beyond that, there's uh, a much uh, bigger opportunity, and that's something we call cell virtualization. So cell virtualization is, is sort of like NFE, but for the airwaves themselves. So what we do is we create one large cell across a whole bunch of remote radio points. And these radio points typically are deployed in an enterprise or public venue. Uh, and by creating that single cell, we then create virtual sectors every millisecond for every PRB within the, uh, within the cell. And the PRBs are the physical resource blocks. So these are little slices of spectrum uh, where we're creating these individual sectors very dynamically. And by doing this, you take all the complexity out of the traditional RF planning, all the interference mitigation techniques that are needed, all the handover tweaking and planning, all that kind of goes away because the baseband controller through the cell virtualization is taking care of all that in its algorithms. So it greatly simplifies the deployment. So how will operators benefit from this? So for a network operator, you know, one of their biggest challenges right now is scaling small cell deployments. And the challenge is it's too complicated. It's costly. They're doing these RF plans. They have to do uh, complex uh, deployments and a lot of optimization afterwards. They run into issues uh, with ongoing maintenance. And so cell virtualiz virtualization really simplifies it. The other big benefit is user experience. So we just have uh, a much better user experience. In fact, 10x improvement in user experience uh, at the cell edge and uh, much better capacity for things like Volte or HD streaming video. And how does this fit with the evolution of LTE and the move towards 5G? You know, 4G is already starting to move towards a CRAN based architecture. A lot of operators are starting to adopt CRAN because of the benefits uh, that they see in their, their macro network. And we were the, really the first ones to innovate with CRAN small cells uh, for the uh, in-building and public venue space. And what we've done by centralizing that scheduler, we've basically eliminated the cell. Because it's really you know, just one big cell and then we create these virtual cells every millisecond. Uh, and even within the millisecond, we're making multiple virtual cells. So this kind of uh, dynamic capacity um, is a very powerful concept. And that is kind of where 5G is headed. You know, they've already sort of, uh, a lot of the operators are, are looking at 5G as being more of a CRAN based uh, solution, but also a lot of them are talking about how do we get rid of the cell? And instead of having these statically defined cells, let's kind of reinvent the way we build networks. Let's have just one big cell where we create these virtual cells within it. And that's exactly what we've been already doing for the last couple of years. So when can we expect to see more widespread implementation of such single cell architectures? 
5G will take some time to get standardized, uh, so the, you know, the, the specifications won't be available for a few years, and then it will take some time for product to come out. But um, that evolution towards you know, a single cell architecture where you've centralized the scheduler and you're doing uh, a very intelligent uh, control of the RF resources across your entire uh, you know, uh, building deployment or public venue deployment is really where you know, you're going to see operators starting to head over the next couple of years as they move towards the 5G architectures. Mike McFarland, thank you very much indeed.